make sure to check out our new website, cadaverscards.com, where we have the latest set at the lowest price. Hello everyone, Flippy here uh, to bring you more Guardians Rising uh, pre-release stuff. So uh, this time I wanted to shorten it a little bit because we got a lot to go over. Um, and first off, uh, the place I went to was friggin' fantastic. A lot better than the first place, I have to say. Uh, people were great, met a lot of good people. And um, well, so my buddy went with me and he's not really a fan of collecting the actual like cards. So he went ahead and gave me all of the cards that he got. So I'm going to kind of go a rundown of what me and him both pulled together. So, and I will kind of go over more detail later, but from what I put, like the, the most or the least, um, noted to the most noted. So we got Altar of the Sun, Altar of the Moon, Aether, Par Aether Paradise Conservation Area, Rescue Stretcher, that actually helped me a lot today, um, Choice Band, Field Blower, another Choice Band, Sableye, Oricorio, this, this card is actually really freaking awesome, getting you energy. Uh, Garbodor, great card. Reverse Hollow Victory Bell, Reverse Hollow Rayquaza, Reverse Hollow Mudsdale, a Reverse Hollow Golisopod, I guess is how you say it. And um, again, this guy saved me. He won my first two rounds, just him alone. Um, I got a Holographic Gudra that I'm excited to use in uh, my new deck, which I'll explain here in a bit. A Holographic Politoed, which my buddy pulled. Um, my promo was a Mudsdale this time. His promo was the Oricorio. Uh, he happened to pull a Toxapex GX. Unfortunately, he didn't get a Marini, so he wasn't able to use it. And my GX that I pulled was the Full Art Nine Tails GX card. Absolutely gorgeous. As soon as I pulled it, I had like three people ask me if they wanted to, tra if I wanted to trade after. Um, the pre-release and this this guy this guy and Goli Sopod or however you say his name they got me second place they got me second place and I'm s this nine tails is completely broken but it's such a good card I love it I can't wait to get more so I can build a deck out of it and uh, so for winning second so this is my this was my prize nine Guardians Rising packs. So, my buddy, he gave me his three that he had won, and then I was thirsty, and they had a minimum on cards, so I went and bought a Sun and Moon base set pack that I will also be opening. But we got all these packs to open up, and I'm so excited. Um, start out with the Sun and Moon base set. And, you know, guys, this, this pre-release is they was it was so much fun i can't wait to do it when the next set comes out and uh you know this set alone is just freaking fantastic i loved it. like three people pulled tapu leles today so we got a uh, grass energy croc rock rainbow energy charger bug dupider eevee stuffle litten torkoal a reverse hollow wishy-washy and a rare is an incineroar. So, nothing out of the sun and moon pack, but that's not why we're here. We are here for the Guardians Rising. So, let's see. Let's, I'm going to separate these into the artworks to see who we have the most of. Let's see here. So, we have the least of the Lycanroc and the most of the, what is it, the Kokomo O? Or however you say his name. So let's do the Lycan Rocks first. We got the least of those. So we'll do the Lycan Rock artwork first. And I don't want to damage any of the cards, especially if there's a Tapu Lele in there. Because that card, just the regular GX version, I looked it up the other night. And it was $38 for just the GX version. That card is worth some money. I will tell you that right now. So if you guys pull it, 
um, please, please take good care of it because it's going to be worth a lot of money. <laughs> so, all right. So let's see. There's also a lot of good cards in this set that are actually works worth some decent money already. Got a Steel Energy, a Glalie, Watchdog, Weeping Bell, Rock Ruff, Machop, Trubbish, Delibird, Talo, a Reverse Hollow Gumi, and a Slazzle. Awesome, I have not pulled that yet. So this card, you know, if you guys haven't seen it yet, when you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may leave your opponent's active Pokemon burned and poisoned. That is, that's nuts. And my camera, for whatever reason, is acting up. So I'm gonna mess with it for a second. Let's, let's reset it here. Come on. Did that help? That helped a little bit. Okay. So, let's continue on here with the Lycanroc packs. But yeah, like at the at the pre-release, let's see, today, one one girl pulled Tapu Lele, a kid pulled Tapu Lele, traded it, and then proceeded to open up in his winnings another Tapu Lele, except it was a full art this time. So he was getting some good luck. So we got a water energy, a field blower, worth some money, Gotharita, energy recycler, Cottony, Bellsprout, Kliger, Patrat, Snow Runt, another reverse Gumi, and our rare is a Tapu Coco GX. Woo! So, already got a GX. Two packs in. Awesome. And it's the Tapu Coco. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Arrow, Arrow Trail. When you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench during your turn, you may move any number of lightning energy from your other Pokemon to this Pokemon. If you do, switch this Pokemon with your active Pokemon. So it sounds a lot like the uh, Dragonite GX. So, from... What was it? Not quite sure what set it was, but I have one. <laughs> That's the only reason I know about it, is because I have one. Uh, let's do, since we pulled Tapu Coco, let's do Tapu Coco. Might as well, right? So we got one of the Tapus, and I'm keeping all these codes, guys, I'm sorry. But again, if you saw my other video, they will be for sale on our website. So make sure you check it out. So we got a Dark Energy, Pseudo Widow. His ability actually helped me out quite a bit today too. So you can only have your opponent can only have four bench Pokemon instead of five. So it limits their options a little bit. We got Mallow, Energy Recycler, Gothita, Pancham, Alolan Vulpix. I need more of those. Chansey, Trubbish, a, holo a Reverse Holographic Murkrow, and our rare is a Victory Bell. So. I pulled a reverse hollow of that, so don't need the regular, regular rare, although it looks to be a decent card in this set. So, one, two, three, four, let's see here, so we got Dark Energy, Tentacruel, Max Potion, Machoke, Delibird, Jangmo O, oh, I need more of those, Talo, Carvana, Barboach, a reverse hollow Machoke, which his ability actually is very, very useful in counter, countering the um, Alolan Ninetales. Prevent all damage done to your bench Pokemon by your opponent's attacks. Your opponent's attacks and abilities can't put damage counters on benched Pokemon. Um, this actually hurt me in one of the matches and was very, very useful uh, for my opponent. And we get a Turtonator. So that is my first Turtonator. So that's cool. So, Body Slam for 30. If heads, your opponent's active Pokemon is paralyzed. Or Heat Blast for 90. So many good cards in this set. So many good cards in this set. Well, let's see what we can get out of this last Tapu Coco. Pack. We got a Grass Energy. Hala. Soda Widow. Milo. Alolan Sandshrew. Machop. Chansey. Snow Runt, Pancham, 
a reverse hollow mallow, which I'm assuming is a mince print because it's only partially um, reverse holographic, which I've seen a lot of mince prints so far too, which is kind of bizarre. I mean, it looks, it looks really weird too. Like, I think there's supposed to be a symbol right here, but it's kind of blank, so. And Oricorio. And I'm not sure if the Oricorios are, other than the one, are really worth anything, but I want to sleeve it anyway because, you know, um, well, Darium's is, so I figured why not. So on to the Nine Tails packs, which I really hope I get another Nine Tails. Come on, Nine Tails. I want another one of you. One, two, three, four. Wait, wait. Yep, one, two, three, four. This one feels thicker than the rest, which is weird. Got a uh, Psychic Energy, Multi Switch, Fletchender, Alolan Graveler, Carvana, Farboached, Phantom, Machop, Fletchling, a Reverse Hollow Rare, Probo Pass, and again, no textures or symbols all over like there normally is supposed to. There's some up top, but it looks like they didn't like print properly or something. And a rare is a, a fire Oricorio. So again, sleeving it, just because I'm not sure if those are worth money or not, we will find out eventually. Another Alolan Ninetales. One, two, three, four. I haven't gotten anything good other than the Tapu Coco, really. So we got the Metal Energy, Brooklet Hill, definitely sleeping that. Beware, Lampant, Gumi, Whalmer, Beldum, Rockruff, Machop, a Reverse Hollow Lilligant, again, with the no texture here. Oh, excuse me, sorry. And a Rare is another Turtonator, okay. So, let me sleeve these guys. But yeah, I totally want to make a, a Gumi Ninetales, or not a Gumi, but a Gudra Ninetales deck. Fairy, fairy water, because that seems really freaking cool to me anyway. I've never actually ran a uh, fairy deck before, so. We shall see. So we got a Grass Energy, Max Potion, Clefable, Lampant, Murkrow, Salandit, awesome, I don't have him yet either, Delibird, Nosepass, Cast Form, don't have that one, another Reverse Hollow Probo Pass, same type of texture, and a Solgaleo. So, okay, so I'm definitely going to have to, oh, I don't wanna use that one, Sleeve. Solgaleo because you know it's Solgaleo. So we got four packs left. All the Coco or Homo, Tomo, Homo, Somo packs, <laughs> whatever the hell their name is. Uh, let's get something good out of these last four packs. Come on, one, two, three, four. Get a Water Energy. Beware. Another Brooklet Hill. A Slagoo, a Lolan Sandshrew, Cottony, Bellsprout, Gliger, a Lolan Geodude, a Reverse Holographic Rockruff, and a rare is a Woo! Woo Alright, a full art holla. That is intimidating. I have to say that card is intimidating. Right there. That is awesome though. Hala shuffles your hand into your deck. If you have used your GX attack, draw seven. If not, draw four. I'm putting that separate from all of them. So, got a GX and a full art from these packs so far. And we got three left. Let's see what else we can get. One, two, three, four. We got a Grass Energy, Vanillish, Aether Paradise Conservation Area, Hala, or Hala, Club Fairy. Barboached, Carvana, Fletchling, Litwick, a Reverse Hollow Energy Recycler, and this one's fully, fully Reverse Hollow. I don't know if you can really see it, 
like the whole the whole card is reverse holographic on this one and a rare is a garbador awesome card awesome awesome card because of his trash lance for one psychic energy especially when your opponent uses a lot of item cards just 20 times however many item cards are they have in their discard Even like the regular rares are really good cards. So, two packs left, guys. Come on, let's get one more. Let's get one more good thing. So we got a Lightning Energy, Slowbro, Brooklet Hill, okay, Beware, Murkrow, Salandit, Rockruff, Delibird, Nosepass, ooh, a Reverse Hollow Minior, which I don't have him yet, or her, or whatever it is. Let's see, Swift, so it does 20 damage, if it'll focus. This attack's damage isn't affected by weakness, resistance, or any other effects on your opponent's active Pokemon. And then Cosmic Explosion, this Pokemon is knocked out, 190 damage, oh wow. And our first Alolan Sand Slash, which Slush Rush was used quite a bit on me, and it's a good, it's, it's pretty good ability, being able to draw a card every turn. And our last, Guardians Rising pack for today. I have two boxes coming though, guys. So definitely gonna be opening a ton of this set. Oh my gosh, and the cards are stuck. Okay. Sorry, didn't wanna, didn't wanna rip the cards or bend them or anything. Three, four. Oh crap, I just did that. All right, so we got a Metal Energy, a Rescue Stretcher, great card. Sita Widow, Matang. Clefairy, Litwick, Gliger, Vanillite, a Mudbray, another Reverse Holographic Recycler as the full holographic, and our rare is a Victini Hollow with the ability Victory Star. Once during your turn, after, come on phone. Once during your turn, after you flip any coins for an attack, you may ignore all results of those coin flips and begin flipping those coins again. You can't use more than one Victory Star ability each turn. Awesome. So that's going to get its own sleeve if I can freaking... Ah, okay. Well, I'm out of the perfect fit sleeve, so I'm just going to use this guy here. Well, I'm going to put him in my binder, so i got to go that way. A lot of good cards, guys. So our most notables, oh gosh. <laughs> of course the Full Art Hala, some Brooklyn Hills, uh, Tapu Coco GX, Salazzle, and Victini. So awesome, awesome pulls from this set, guys. Like, I'm so excited for this. And uh, I, yeah, you're gonna see me open a lot of this set. I can tell you that right now. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. It's a ghost town